Hey guys, so today, well, I'm trying my new phone and it looks kind of weird, but anyhow, we are talking about vegetable wells today. All these yellow bottles. First of all, what's the difference between vegetable oils and non-vegetable oils? Basically, vegetable oils are fats that are of plant origin. So, sunflower, safflower oil, coconut, avocado oil, all of those are actually vegetable oils. The only non-vegetable oils are animal fats like butter, like ghee, like lard, like kale. And so some of those oils can increase inflammation, can disrupt the work of your immune system, your hormonal system, your cell communication, and basically you're gonna feel tired, be sicker, and be fatter. And all sorts of, and the chance of you getting any degenerative diseases and malfunctions of your body will increase exponentially. So rule number one, guys, anything that comes in a clear bottle and is yellow is not a part of healthy diet. As simple as that. Even olive oil, if it comes in a bottle like this, it means it's probably already oxidized and also pro-inflammatory and not good for you compared to something like this that comes in a dark bottle that prevents oxidation of those fats. The only oil that I, as a nutritionist, would buy, guys, avocado oil, but even in a darker bottle, that's probably what I'd be looking for, or extra virgin olive oil that comes in a dark or even better, in a can, in a non-transparent can. That prevents oil oxidation and that makes it more stable and that makes it better for you. By the way, guys, none of these oils are made from vegetables. They are made from nuts, seeds, um, in the case of olives and avocados, fruit, but none of them are made from vegetables. When it comes to butter, guys, the only butter that is worth your money is 100% natural butter from grass-fed cows, specifically. If the cow was not fed grass, uh, and usually the only butters that are grass-fed are from New Zealand and Ireland. So if butter is not grass-fed, don't buy it. It's going to be pro-inflammatory. And a lot of butters are actually fake. They also have vegetable oils added to them, so it's like vegetable oils plus animal fat, that is really true disaster. So butter, grass fat from Ireland and New Zealand. Now guys, where a lot of vegetable oils are sneaking in into your food are all sorts of prepared food. Most of it, either at, a, at your grocery store or at your favorite restaurant or cafe, most of it is cooked with vegetable oils. So that is that truth. So, don't buy them, otherwise you're gonna end up with a lot of vegetable oil without actually buying any. And of course guys, I probably don't need to tell you that all sorts of cookies or snacks will contain a lot of vegetable oils. Not that you should be eating them for any other reason, <laughs> but yeah, vegetable oils are everywhere. So check the ingredients carefully, even on so-called healthy foods, because you never know what that healthy somebody means, like when they say something is healthy. So check the ingredients really, really careful and be aware that vegetable oils are everywhere. And from all the statistics, it seems that the more the population eats of vegetable oils, the sicker, the better it gets. And of course, don't forget about all the dressings and sauces, a lot of vegetable oils there, and a lot of sugar, and a lot of God knows what else. So check the ingredients, but better stick to olive oil, spices, herbs, salt, and anything you can make out of it.